Don't forget, E5, down up, major. Minor. You did your active scales today. You slide on your ring finger and then hammer on like this. And in reverse, you pull off. Do the same slide in reverse. A. different is G. You slide on your middle finger so that you don't have to shift. Now you're in the right position. Three, five, three. These are called active because they have a flow to them. They're supposed to be like kind of watery like they slide. Have a lot of life in them. Okay, E, A, D, and G. Now we looked at two songs. We looked at the um, Damien Marley song which has a D minor shape. That means seven. So if you play an open position, two, three, one. That's D minor, but we play it up here at the 8th fret, 7, 8, 6, that's a G minor. And the reggae sound is like this. You rest the fingers of the left hand between these chords so they muffle the strings. And you move it down one fret and you invert those two. And this gets a D minor, 7, 6, 5. So the main thrust of the song is just 1, 2, 1, 2. So this is just to teach yourself these shapes and to teach yourself a little bit of a reggae rhythm. And then the riff is like da, ba, oh, one, oh, three. So do that a couple times and then go. And switch back. Okay, then we looked at I Wanna by the slaps. So this is crucial, we're doing bar chords now. So the first bar chord, you gotta bring your thumb down. You can't have your thumb up here. If you, the more you bring it down, the more extension you have. You hit the fourth fret and you play four, six, and you flatten your first finger and add your pinky to the B string. So you get four, six, four, six, four. That's called C sharp seven. Then you move it down to the second fret, but substitute your middle finger on the instead of your pinky. That's a B minor seven. Then the same exact shape moves up to the dot at five, and that's D minor seven. So the whole progression is A, then they go up to C sharp 7. This is going to be your, your crash course and bar course. Now to B minor 7. These are going to kick your ass for like a week or two, and then they're going to click and your hand's going to get it. The key is you can't be up here, it makes it impossible. And you can't have this big angle. It's got to be almost parallel with the fret, and the thumb's got to be back, or down, I should say. So A. C sharp, D minor 7, D minor 7. Alright brother, learn all that for me. Thank you. Later.